Luna, no, no with Flow Tutorial. The process for creating a native CMS slider inside of Webflow is less than ideal. You have to add in a slider element, and then on the first slide, add in the CMS collection that you want to add. Then you have to create a new slide, re-add in that CMS collection, and then tell the CMS collection to only show the second item. Then create a new slide, re-add in the CMS collection, and then tell the CMS collection to only show the third slide and so on and so on. And so every time that you wanna change the CMS collection, there's a lot of groundwork that needs to be done. The point is it's not straightforward and there's a better way of doing it. And that's what we're gonna look at today. And so what we're gonna do is add the CMS collection to our page, how we want it to appear as a slider, and then add some custom code to get that slider working. That way we can create a simple functional CMS slider in only a couple of minutes. So firstly, let's add in a new section where we want the slider to go. So we'll scroll down, we'll drop in a new section, and then add a new container. Now the slider that we're gonna add in is actually gonna overflow the section. So we're gonna add an overflow none to make sure that the page doesn't horizontally scroll. And now we'll add in our CMS collection and connect it up to the right collection. Now I'm gonna quickly add in elements for the slides and style it how I want it to look. So I'll go over to the list, I'll put it as display columns, that way the slides are going horizontally, and then I'm gonna add in elements for each slide. And now we'll connect up these elements to pull from the CMS. And these slides aren't looking exactly how I want them, so I'm going to style them. And now I'll style the image by giving it a set height and changing the image to be an image cover. Now this is a class that I've already set but it's working because we're giving it 100% width, 100% height, and then telling the image to cover the div that it's in. Now for the project links, I'm gonna give it a class, and I'll give it a set width. And now to give each item some spacing, I'm gonna give it some margin. Now we're gonna change the classes for the CMS elements, and this way the custom code knows where the slider is and which items to move. I'm gonna call this slider item, I'll rename the list, slider list, and rename the wrapper, slider wrapper. Now all that's left to do is add our custom code. Now if we want the slider on multiple pages, we'll add the custom code to the project settings. But if we only want it on one page, then we can just add the custom code to this page settings. So we'll go onto our page settings, add in a style sheet to the head, and add in some JavaScript to the end body tag. And I'll keep a link to this code in the description. And we can save that. Already we can publish our site and see if this is working. And just like that, we already have a simple CMS slider set up. And we can style the slider in any way that we want. Let's say we want to make the cards go all the way across. Well, we'll change the size of each card. And we'll change the height of the image and of the text. And we'll publish that. And now we have a CMS slider working with nice big cards. Let's make this even better by adding back and next buttons to the bottom of the slider. We'll go back into our project. We're gonna add in a new div to the container. And we'll call this div slider navigation wrapper. Next, we'll add in some divs for the buttons. We'll call this slider navigation. Duplicate that for the second button. And then we'll change them to be horizontal by changing the display of the wrapper. Let's add in some images for the back and forth buttons. Put one here. We'll make that 35. And we'll paste that here and change that to the other direction. And I'll add in some margin to the buttons. And this button will give the class of previous slide. And this one will give the class of next slide. And the only other thing we'll do is change these buttons to have a click cursor on hover. 
Now that we've done that, we can publish it again and see how it looks. And I'm going to quickly style this a little bit further to make it perfect. And there we have it, a super simple CMS slider that we'll set up in minutes. If you have any feedback or there's a specific tutorial you want to see, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out and email me. Otherwise, that's all for now. Let me know if this one was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.